Hey drone technology fans, Bill here. DJI Phantom 4 RTK, a new DJI drone. We'll have that coming right up. There's some days you'll never know what you'll be able to find out on the FCC database. And you may get some surprises. Today was one of those days. Um, without further ado, I'm gonna put the first slide up on the screen. The first slide has on it, uh, Phantom 4 RTK cover letter, FCC authorization letter, as the DJI Technology Company Limited. Now, let me explain to you what an authorization letter is first. Basically, it allows a third party, Bay Area Compliance, to act on DJI's behalf for all matters to an application for equipment authorization. So that's, for those of you that wanted to know what that means. We'll move on to the second slide here, and we'll take a look at the date, dates on here. Date submitted was 4-9-2018. Date available was 4-10-2018. That's the reason that we saw this today, because of the date available. If the date available had uh, not been uh, reached yet, we wouldn't have seen this. So that's, that, was, that was very interesting. We're going to go ahead and move on to the, to the next slide here. And this is Phantom 4 RTK ID label location, info, FCC, ID label, and label location. Now, um, we'll move on to the second slide because it's kind of chopped in half. Um, you see Exhibit A, FCC ID labeling and location, FCC ID label, and the model WM334R as in Ralph. Now, we'll move on to the next slide, which is very interesting because you actually get to see what the proposed label location is, and you get to see something new on top of the Phantom 4. That's a dome up there, and we're going we're gonna to talk about that here in a minute. The label shown shall be permanently fixed at a conspicuous location on the device and be readily vi visible to the user at the time purchased. Labeling requirements per 2.925. Okay. Now, it was very interesting. Um, uh, there's an article that I'm going to post a link to from Dr Drone DJ. Back in, and I'm going to put the, slide, the, the slides up. Um, back in December, DJI had announced. Uh, two new agricultural drones over in China. What kind of flew under the radar at this time was the Vanum 4 RTK. Um, what's RTK stand for, Bill? I will get to that in just a minute. Uh, the reason that all this flew on, under the radar was uh, this was just a prototype drone, but they had models of the prototype there at the uh, at the event, and this was a this was an event over in China. So. Um, I'm going to move on to the next slide here, and this is a quote from DJI. DJI unveiled the Phantom 4 RTK real-time kinematic at an event in China. Though it is still a prototype and we do not yet have a timetable for when it will be available for purchase. It uses the Phantom 4 Pro 20 megapixel camera and is augmented by a high-precision GNSS satellite positioning module to provide much more accurate RTK level data. This is designed for surveying and mapping applications that need centimeter level accuracy in flight, as well as post-processing. As this product comes closer to market, expect us to have more to say about its capabilities and availability. Now we'll move on to the next slide where I provide a definition of what real-time kinematic is. Now this is from Wikipedia. Real-time kinematic positioning is a satellite navigation technique used to enhance the precision of position data derived from satellite-based positioning systems, global navigation satellite systems, GNS, GNSS, such as GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, and BDAO. It, forgive me if I mispronounce that. It uses measurements of the phase of the signal's carrier wave in addition to the information content of the signal and relies on a single reference station or interpolated, inter Polated virtual station provide real-time corrections providing up to centimeter level accuracy. With reference to GPS in particular, the system is commonly referred to as carrier phase enhancement or CP GPS. It has applications in land survey, hydrographic survey, and in consumer unmanned aerial vehicle navigation. Okay, that was a mouthful right there. Um, I'm going to put the next slide up on the screen. And again, I'll have links not only to the uh, FCC information, um, the drone DJ information, but I'll also have, a, um, also have the Wikipedia up there as well, so you can have that. Now, this, um, there are some pictures here, and on the, 
On the last set, it's PCGS Pro support models. The PSGS Pro works with the Phantom 4 RTK with precision targeted RTK, one inch 20 megapixel CMOS, and OcuSync 2.0 HD digital image transmission technology can easily complete the homework. In addition, you can still use Phantom 4 Pro and Phantom 4 Advanced for jobs. Again, you know, like I said, uh, there'll be links to all of these in the description. What does all this mean, Bill? What this means is DJI is coming out with a new drone and it's basically going to be used for land mapping and surveying. Uh, and I think if, you're, if you know anything about the Matrix, Matrix series of drones that DJI has right now, it already has RTK on there. That's already a part of those drones. And I think the reason DJI did this was to make this more available to maybe some small, smaller surveyor, surveying type firms who need this accuracy, but yet uh, the Matri series is very expensive. And to be able to bring it down to the Phantom 4 series, that's fantastic. So uh, kudos to DJI for this. You know, again, we're seeing, and this has been a theme throughout DJI's history, is they've been bringing the technology down from the most expensive to the least expensive. And that's, I think that's absolutely fantastic. If you like the content from today's video, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and tell others about the channel. Also, be sure to check out my Facebook page where I do post daily updates regarding the drone and drone industry and anything that's DJI related. Also, check out my Twitter account as well where I do post those updates as well. Thanks so much and happy flying!